It's the dream of every architect to work on a site as high profile as this. The original settlement of Chicago originated on this site. It's where the three branches of the Chicago River come together, and its prominence in the skyline and its visibility has been a huge honor. We know we did not take it lightly. How you set up the building's massing and these layered planes is directly relevant to the functions that occur in those spaces. This is the first of three buildings, so this building is pushed against the riverbank to the west. How we treated the building and how it met the riverfront was really, really important, particularly on the westernmost plane. Where those columns are really prominent, how they raise the building up and touch the ground lightly to give more light and air to the pedestrians walking along the riverfront. Because the building is oriented north-south, the sun and how it interacts with the building was a big consideration in terms of how the planes were all overlaid and how we allocate exterior space for the residents. And at the top, the plane on the east steps back to give those extra special penthouses their own private terraces. And then the plane on the western side, which actually starts higher, so there's outdoor space for the tenants to use. So as the sun moves around the building, there's a place to go to have access to those great views and light and outdoor space. The aluminum rods are an element that ties the exterior of the building together. They incorporate the balconies into the main body of the building. They add some life to the exterior. They, the way they catch light, the way they reflect into the, the glass. Well, there's many, many different scales to deal with in a building. To deal with the scale of the building within the bigger context of Chicago, you have to deal with the scale from a pedestrian standpoint, too. You know, the river also has the river walk, or we wanted to enhance that experience. That's why the building is lifted up on the west side. The biggest challenge building so close to the river is there's multiple legal requirements beyond just property lines. Even though it's on private property, the Coast Guard has input on everything. Most of the river walk walls along the river are rusty sheet piling that you see. And what we did here was we use a cantilevered structural system that uses the, the building's uh, caisson system as support, creating a, a structural and river walk system that was allow something more natural to occur along the bank. One of the challenges that came along with wanting to integrate the river and the architecture was that we needed to start to carve away at the floor plate. And so instead of creating one large amenity floor, we actually started to distribute the amenity levels throughout the building. A big move that was made in this building was to put the main amenity floor at the very top, and it's proved to be a real selling point. It's a dramatic space, dramatic views, and everybody in the building gets to share that as opposed to just a few small unit owners. This project really epitomizes the trends that are happening in, in multifamily housing today in urban cores. The units are getting smaller. The chunk prices then are, in theory, less, although this project is one of the highest rental rates in, in the city. The idea is that what a tenant may not get in a private unit space is made up for in that first class amenity experience. Looking at the site, we loved the way that the light and water played together. We wanted the residents to experience the river and then also to really reflect the water and bring the interior and exterior together. What we did with the interiors was try to keep them really simple and quiet so that your focus was drawn out towards the river. What we tried to create was an approachable luxury, something that would appeal to everyone. So building a building that is responsible from a construction budget standpoint, yet is renting at the highest rates in the city. Clients have been building residential buildings for a long time. It was the fastest building to lease up that they've ever done. We took it very seriously and we poured our heart and soul into it. There's no question it's a good calling card to say that we designed this project.